Welcome to the Shakedown Sound series. In this series, we're going to share with you envelope filters by some of our favorite manufacturers. Join us on this long, strange trip. Today, the Shakedown Sound is being brought to you by Analog Man, simply labeled envelope filter. I believe it's even called the block letter envelope filter. Block logo, block letter, yeah. Yeah. So, interesting envelope. Okay. Fanboys, like, if it says Analog Man on it, we're going to be excited about it. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> There's a couple back there. Um, reached out to Analog Man and you know, told him we'd love to have this in the series. I'm not sure who I talked to there, right. but it was through email. We'll just say it was Mike. <laughs> it, it seems like it might've been. Um, but mentioned, you know, like they really spent a lot of time working on this envelope filter. I, I think modeled after like an MXR. Sure. Uh, originally they were using some of the same, the same chipset, all that, uh, over time they've upgraded some things. They added this emphasis knob and we can talk about that in a little bit. Um, they added, I think they added the up down switch so you can get like the laser, we call it the pew pew sound. Um, like you would find in a Mutron or whatever. Uh, and then added the light, the nine volt adapter. And in the email, he said, you know, there, I, I got the feeling very proud of it. And he mentioned, look, you can set all the knobs at 50 mm -hmm. and it sounds good. It did. Like, unlike yeah. most envelope filters, you, you can't just put them all at 50 and have a good sound and go. You right. have to start dialing in. We tweaked it a little bit because the first question we've been asking at the top of every one of these envelopes series uh, episodes is, can we get the sound for the do dot man? And so, tweaked a little bit. And this is what we came up with on the analog man. Where are we at? Tip your waiters and waitresses. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we'd like to just hit a few things here, right? <laughs> and of course, there's the one, like everyone we try, the first thing we to dial it in, it's always. Which is kind of like our envelope filter. Like, can we get the sound we want? Let's play. Let's play that riff. So, sound from the doodah man. Mm -hmm. uh, affirmative. Yes. Check. Check. Pass that over. Which we know doesn't necessarily appeal to everybody. So right. now we're gonna jump into the pedal. But before we do, I'm gonna turn it off and let Pat give you a reference mm -hmm. tone. A uh, reference tone from 2003 Les Paul Standard with uh, Sir Thornbuckers in it. Classic, not Classic. standard, sorry. And uh, I'm using both pickups. I got the, the uh, bridge rolled back a little bit, but... Uh so the Tyler JT-22. Okay. So... Knob-wise on this filter, we have a threshold, an attack, a emphasis, and then we have a switch. And switch goes between up and down. 
And again, up is the down sweep, and down <laughs> is the up sweep. <laughs> up is down, down is up. Um, I wanted to read one thing here for you. The emphasis knob allows more or less extreme tones. Okay. So he's talking about what they've done, how they've done the new board. This new board uh, even says right in here, uh, they made 100 using new old stock NOS MRX, MXR circuit boards for original sounds, but they've added a third knob, a toggle switch, so you can get more tones, the up-down toggle switch, um, and this emphasis knob. So... Everybody labels these things a little different. We're kind of <laughs> feeling like thresholds the peak, right? right? And then attack is more of the sensitivity that we would see labeled in some other pedals. So threshold is going to set that frequency cutoff. And then depending on what guitar and where you have that, you're going to set the sensitivity. Should we start? Where should we start? Maybe the emphasis now. Emphasis. Let's get our, let's do the emphasis. <laughs> <laughs> But mm -hmm. not. There's more going on, mm -hmm. I think, right? Yeah. Like, because you, you heard the filter tripping more, I think, when you got it up high. and mm -hmm. Definitely getting up in the higher registers of the filter, so I'm not sure. Um, low band. Low pass filter for the whole pedal, so you're not switching between that. I should mention inside there is a trim pot um, that can be adjusted. So, say you were playing the Strat again. Okay. And the strap wasn't triggering the filter we want. We could take the back off, and there's a trim pot in there that we could push up. Okay. They set all the way up. If you have real low output pickups, start to back that off a little bit. I think the they said they back it off just a little bit from the factory. Factory, factory from the factory. So you could, we could probably go back to the strat, open it up, push that a little bit. Although I kind of feel like it would be all right with the strat as it is. But, mm -hmm. Um. Should we take a, a play on the threshold and attack? And again, I don't think it makes sense to just take the threshold from... You know what I mean? I think it makes sense. We're going to play mostly with the threshold, but move the attack to try and match the guitar, the effect, and how hard Pat's picking. Okay, I'm going to go play that. Clock. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. Yeah, it really does. I think mm -hmm. that's... Are you going to argue with the analog yeah. <laughs> No. Not on camera. No, <laughs> not at all. Right. Yeah, I so, mean, it, you take it out of the box, you set it at 12, and that's a good starting point, right? And then right. You, you nuance the knobs to get it the way that you like it. Right. And that's all we did for that. Uh, the only other thing on it, really, to think about is the attack or the um, switch. So we can go between... The up sweep and the down sweep. Starting in the down sweep. Mm -hmm. 
Simon and Garfunkel meet the analog man. It's, there you it's, go. It's very cool. That is cool. Um, no lie. We like pedals that you can pull out of a box, put down, <laughs> set everything in, and have a good sound. That's right. I mean, we like pedals you got to tweak with, too. Um, but there's something about when you can just turn a pedal on and go, and then start getting the little minor tweaks that we really enjoy. So, I think we're at that point. Mm-hmm. It's the time we always like to stop and just thank everybody that's subscribing, clicking the notification bell, hitting the like button, going out to Instagram or Facebook. Anytime you communicate with us, you really help in the show. You allow us to get cool stuff like this in. Uh, big shout out to Analog Man for helping us uh, get this in because honestly, the guys pedal sell for use more than they sell for right, new. So right. why would he ever help us get something in to put on the show? So we th- big thanks for that. And I think with that... I'm PJ on behalf of the beard reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear.